Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. I have a math challenge for you with prizes available. I received an email from a young man named Owen. He describes himself as an intellectually curious high school student. He says he's been watching some of my videos and he has a math challenge for me. So he sent me the math challenge in the email. I considered it, I consider it to be an excellent math challenge. I worked on it and I got the answers. I emailed him and he emailed me back saying, yes, I am correct. I asked him if I could make a YouTube video about this, a math challenge video, and he said, yes, go to it. So that's what I'm doing. Thank you, Owen. Your math challenge has given me intellectual stimulation and pleasure, and I'm eager to share it now. This is a geometry challenge. There are two facts about geometry that are relevant to it. One fact is that the area of a triangle equals one-half the base times the height. And the other fact is the side relationships in a 30-60 right triangle. If this is 30 degrees and this is 60 degrees, here we have the right angle. If we call the length of the short leg A, then the length of the hypotenuse is 2A, and the length of the longer leg is a times the square root of 3. Now here is the challenge. We have an equilateral triangle ABC, that means all three sides are equal, and its base BC is horizontal. We slide triangle ABC down vertically until it has the position of triangle DEF, and so triangle DEF is congruent to triangle ABC, and we have slid the triangle down exactly the right amount so that this smaller triangle that's been formed, triangle DGH, has exactly half the area of triangle ABC. Now there are two questions. Suppose that the distance that we have slid that triangle down a distance that I show here as the perpendicular distance between the parallels BC and EF. Suppose that distance is the square root of three units. The question is, what is the exact area of that smaller triangle DGH, the shaded area? And the second question, we generalize, suppose that distance that the triangle has slid is, instead of the square root of 3, is x. The question is, what is the shaded area, the area of triangle DGH, in terms of x? If you can answer either or both of those questions, please don't do so here at the comments section of this video. Instead, go to my profile page, and you should find a place where you can send me a message. Message me your answer or answers. If you are correct on your first try, you can have a prize if you want it. The prize that I offer you is a six-pack, an audio file of six selections from my YouTube piano videos, not my spoken introductions, just the music. If you answer one question correctly, you can have one six-pack, if you answer both questions correctly, you can have as a prize two six-packs. And you can choose from an almost endless variety of six-packs. Here are some examples that you could choose. I hope that the device you are watching this video on shows these annotations. If you want the prize, please request it and include your email address. In any event, I hope that if you work on this challenge, it will give you, as it has given me, mental stimulation and pleasure. Again, thank you, Owen, for a great math challenge. To all of you, thank you for watching this video.